China's Belt and Road Initiative carries opportunities and challenges. The aim is to create mutual economic and trade advantages for both China and countries along the maritime and inland routes. Professor Liu Mingkang, former chairman of the China Banking Regulatory Commission, is also a prominent business executive and academic, and looks ahead at the initiative's implementation. Talking about the One Belt One Road, that's an initiative sponsored by the President Xi Jinping in year 2013. We got to think about our neighbors along the One Belt One Road because it's a long history. We have the connections with them. The demand is huge for the infrastructure projects coming from or sponsored by those recipient countries along the One Belt One Road. According to ADB's estimation, it's roughly in this decade, eight trillion US dollars just for infrastructure projects along the One Belt One Road. That's more than 60 countries. China will climb up the value chain to reach the international standard in delivering the new projects and the new support. China will definitely deepen our domestic reform to see if we can match those international needs and demands in an efficient way. If you scale up and climb up along the value-added chain, then you will automatically increase the jobs, increase the income, which are the driving force of the domestic consumption. All the commercial banks and the insurance companies in China, they all get ready to help the projects. I think Hong Kong and Taiwan could join this team and to give the, do a bit for that initiatives. Hong Kong definitely will play a very important role in the future because Hong Kong for quite a long time has already become a global financial center. Also, I think Hong Kong took the advantages of its legal framework because it's based upon the English law and basic law is based upon that. So it's a common law economy. So we have a lot of experts here. And who can render unique services. We got to show our respect to the recipient countries and to match their interest. That is the first thing first. We will be a good listener, but we don't want to combine the usage of them maybe with any projects on one bedroom. This is, there's no precondition like this. I wrote in my article in research about the One Belt, One Road initiatives, I said, clean, green, and the transparency. I think the summit will turn the summit into a broad training class and to cultivate the people, to heighten their vigilance against the challenges and the risks in the end. This is the word I definitely need in implementing the initiative. That's the synergy.